Hey friends, this is Rahul and in this tool we are going to learn how you can configure WP Super Cache so that you can increase your website speed and the user experience by adding cache inside your website. So for this, log into your dashboard now. And now, once you're logging into dashboard, you need to hover a plugin, click on add new and in the search bar, you have to type W3 Super Cache and now you'll get first option W3 Super Cache by automatic one plus meal in active installation. You have to click on install and we'll click on activate and once the plugin get activated, you need to scroll down and you have to click on setting and inside setting, the first option is caching. You have to enable that caching and click on update and now you can test the website caching is working or not by clicking on the test cache it says ok the caching is working right and now once you make any update on the posts or pages or something like that in that case if the update is not working in that case make sure you're coming to this particular page and click on delete cache cache will be getting made again and again once you delete that so once you click on that delete cache you'll be there on the content option you have to click on delete expired cache or delete cache it's better you click on delete cache and the expiry time is there after this much time again the cache will get deleted now we are done with the easy options next we'll click on advanced option and cache we have enabled and next option is the cache delivery method in the cache delivery method simple is for normal hosting if you're using shared hosting then you should choose a simple cache delivery method but if you're choosing expert make sure you have VPS or dedicated servers normal server could not handle that export cache right next if you'll scroll down inside the miscellaneous select this 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 and don't select this one this is already selected and select 304 not modified browsing cache that you have to select that we'll discuss each option what that option means for you and nothing else you need to select in the miscellaneous options and inside the miscellaneous section first option is the don't cast pages for the known user who are the known user those the people who are getting logged in they will not receive the cached version of the pages, posts, comments and all the things. They'll always get fresh file. And next, don't cache pages with have question mark x equals to y. What is that x equals to y? If you'll see here top, you'll get something x question mark equals to y. That type of pages will not be cached. That is internal use for your work and you should never use such content for yourself. And compression will be there for this one. We are using compression and we have selected don't cache http header for that and next cache rebuild you have this is recommended you have to go for that and next option is 304 if modified since header if it does not know this is very important for the seo factor if you'll go to my blog there i have written how you can enable 304 if modified since header this is very important what do you mean by that if modified since header if you're not making any modified to your pages or posts then the google web crawler will not crawl your website this will save your bandwidth a lot of data and you have to skip these two options now scroll down and in the advanced option and in the advanced setting you have to enable enable dynamic setting if the response time for your website is very slow i repeat if you're using normal shared hosting the response time for shared hosting may not be sufficient for any other hosting so i always recommend people to migrate toward the cloud hosting that you can try fast comet or any other cloud hosting that link i'll provide you in the description box and the normal shared hosting this option may not be supported and you have to select that a uh, mobile device support and now scroll down and in this option you have to select this one clear all cache when new posts or pages updated so that automatically it will clear the cache and don't select this extra home page chunks let them cache everything and you have to select only refresh the current page when the comment is made when the comments are made the cache version of that page will be removed and the new version of the page will be cached and stored in the server so we have to select this option and nothing else needs to be selected on these particular setting only two options clear the cache file when the new post submit only refresh the current page when the comments are made right and the next option is the cache location this will be your cache location so how you can trace that cache location so now I'll take you to the cache location if I'll go to my server 
there inside wp contained this is the part wp contained slash cache and this is the cache folder you will see all the cache file will be here you can change that location but this is not recommended leave it like that now scroll down and click on update status now again you scroll down and there you will find expiry time and garbages collection you have to enter here 3600 one hour expiry timeout in one day 24 times the cache will get timed out means get expired but if you are choosing 1800 it will be around 30 minutes after that it will get expired and it will be getting deleted again and again after 30 minutes the file will get refreshed which will increase your server work even consume more data these are the settings where you can save a lot of data a lot of money and nothing else need to be touched inside the expiry time and garbage rest option are quite simple and easy you just click on change expiration and next option is accepted file names and rejected uri in this option you can select option that you do not want to cache inside your website let's say you want fresh file for the home page every time so you can select is home page it's a conditional tag when the server says, is it a home page yes don't cache that particular file because my visitors should get a home page afresh like that you can use that but if you'll ask me i'll tell you cache everything for the faster experience for your visitor so remove that and click on save setting if you have made any changes but change is not recommended there and apart from this nothing is to be configured in this particular area rest of the options to the default one and click on submit next option is cdn you have to click on that and inside cdn you have a lot of options to be configured making a cdn is not easy because when you'll try to make cdn you'll face a lot of issue for example the access control allow origin unable to load fonts based on the small icons unable to load some javascript file and mix content error for that i have written a lot of blog and content about that so how you can fix that but in my recommendation i does not want any beginner to get messed up with the cdns option see you can see here skip http url to avoid mix content error there's already one options these are the errors the people face after making cdns and you'll destroy your complete website if you are getting messed up in this section so please and please avoid touching cdns options go for premium cdns if you want i'll drop a link from where you can get that premium cdn like that but don't touch any plugin cdns next option click on content as like i have already explained you contain delete expired cache and the cache whenever you click on delete cache the all the files will get deleted whether they are expired or not and at the time of one hour they will automatically get expired and will get deleted you can even delete it from this option next option click on preload and inside the preload section it is very important for increasing a website speed so many google bots and basically the bots they fetch the content from the server but if you're using preload even the bots will be getting a cached file so the faster they get respond from your website the very important things about the preload time is you have to think i'll tell you what is the logic behind that. how frequent you're making post if you're making post at the interval of one hour two hour three hours similarly like that you have to go let's say i'm making posts frequently at the interval of two hours i'll make it around 100 minutes after that new file will be getting preloaded and you have to select that preload mode and click on save change and click on preload cache now and next click on plugins and inside plugins you does not need to be configured anything and even for debug also you does not need to be configured anything we have discussed all the options and nothing else needs to be configured on this particular plugin i hope you find this video useful if you have any question or query let me know in the comment section if you haven't clicked subscribe click on subscribe button for more further updates thank you